Okay, your turn. That was profound. Thank you. Okay. Thank Brandon. <laughs> well, I, I would if you're get closer. <laughs> Okay, your turn. And if you don't have a book in front of you, then you call it Grace Gorgeous. The chances are we have it somewhere in here. If we don't, we'll tell you. But I like this kind of open worship where people can just, I don't know, for me, at the church I go to, um, and some of you, huh? yeah, at the church I go to, and some of the, and you guys go to one similar, some of you do. Um, we have a we have a service called the Breaking of Bread that we celebrate every week, and it's basically an open communion service where bread and cup are passed. But there's a little difference. It's open format. As the Holy Spirit leads different people to get up and contribute to the service, they do, and they'll call out songs. They'll they'll pray. Um, they'll just you know thank the Lord for what He's done. They'll um, get up and read scripture, sometimes they'll comment on it. And you, ne you never know who exactly who's going to get up and speak. You never know exactly what they're going to speak on. But it, it's amazing, and more often than not in these services, um, there's, a, there's a theme. There's a common reoccurring theme. And there's been a lot of times growing up where, you know, I'll be thinking of a song, okay, I'm going to call out like number 141, the black book. And then right, right about the time that I get ready to do that, somebody else gets up and calls out the same song. And that's kind of like one of those times where, you know, you've got three or four hundred songs to pick from, and they chose that one. You know, it, it, I don't know about you guys, but it, it just it kind of shows that there's somebody else at work besides us. Or, you know, maybe I'll be thinking of a particular passage, you know, that you want to share. And somebody else, you know, and you just, you don't feel like the Holy Spirit really wants you to get up and share it. <laughs> and you guessed it somebody will get up and share that same passage. Or, or they'll share a thought that just goes right along with that, and it makes you want to just get up and say something else, you know, that it, it brings to mind. And I just, I love that meaning, just because it's, it, it takes the control out of our hands, and it puts it in the hands of someone that's a little more capable. Um, and so that, that's kind of what I'd like to look to. I mean, we've got a couple others we're going to do, but, um, encourage you to look through the books and if you had the book for longer than 10 minutes like Rich pass it on um, but um, try to pick some song that everybody knows uh, do you guys know it's either 95 or 96 I don't have a book in front of me it's on the upper right hand corner of the page either one okay. <laughs> uh, well we've got I am sure love O Lord and 96 is I am a servant okay I think it's 95 okay And the thing is, um, you know, if you know the lyrics of the song, I mean, feel free to, you know, sing your heart out. But, you know, even if you don't, I mean, you can still worship. Um, you know, just meditate on the words. This this one's called uh, Your Love, O Lord. It's written by Third Day. And it goes, Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness stretches to the sky. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountain. Your justice flows like the ocean's tide. I will lift up my voice to worship you, my king. I will find my strength in the shadow of your wings. I haven't done this one in a while. Yeah. 
Phyllis Hopper with the cello. All right. So, really cool. Don't everybody clap at once. Okay. <laughs> Try again. 